In this video, I'm going to show you how to create shortcodes in Hugo. And then using those shortcodes, we are going to fetch data from a local JSON file. And then we are going to also fetch data by calling an external API. Remember to like and subscribe to this channel and let's get started. Okay, let's create our first shortcode. Basically a shortcode is a snippet of HTML code that we can embed in our content pages. The way to create a shortcode is by adding a new folder within the layouts folder. We have to name it shortcodes. We need to use this specific name. And for this example, I'm going to create a new shortcode and I'm going to call it quotes. So basically I'm going to create an HTML file and within this file, I'm going to, basically, I'm going to create a div and I'm going to put a quote in a paragraph. Really simple. So let me find a quote like this and I'm going to add also here the author of the quote in another paragraph. Okay, now I'm going to create a page and I'm going to embed this shortcode within that page. So in order to create a page, this is Hugo, new, and I'm going to call this page quotes forward slash index.md. Okay, let's go to our content folder. And here within our content folder, we need to go to quotes. And then we need to go to the index.md file. And here I can embed my new shortcode. So in order to embed the shortcode, I need to use curly braces and I need to add these two signs, less than and greater than. And here I can add the name of the shortcode that is the name of the file. So it's quotes without the HTML extension. And in order to be able to access this page, we need to update our menu. So I'm going to copy the option and I'm going to add the new option at the end. So this is quotes. The name is quotes and the URL is quotes. Forward slash quotes forward slash like that. Okay, now let's run Hugo and let's check our new page. Hugo serve. Okay, and here we have our website. If we go to our quotes page, as we can see here, we have our quote with the short code that we created. Okay, now let's go back to Visual Studio Code and let's add a new data file so we can fetch the data from that file. So I'm going to create a new file. I'm going to call it quotes.json. And I'm going to grab the contents from here and I'm going to paste it within this JSON file. And now I'm going to create another shortcode and I'm going to name it quotes local.html. And I'm going to grab this HTML code. And basically I'm going to remove all the content and I'm going to iterate over the JSON file and I'm going to basically render the different attributes or different properties of the JSON objects. In order to iterate over the objects within this collection that we have here in our file, basically we need to use curly braces and this is range. And in order to access this data file locally, we need to use dot site dot data and the name of the file without the extension. In this case is quotes. And I need to close the iterator like this. Okay, and here in order to access each property of the JSON objects, we need to, again, we need to use curly braces and we need to use dot and the name of the property. So if we go back to the JSON file, we have quote of one of the properties. So this is dot quote and then the author. It's dot author. Let's go to our quotes page and instead of embedding the quotes shortcode, let's embed quotes local. Okay, now let's go to the website and let's go to the quotes page. And as we can see here, we have the three quotes that we have within this JSON file here. Okay, now let's create a shortcode to fetch data from an external API. So I'm going to create a new shortcode. I'm going to name it quotes remote.html. I'm going to grab the same contents that we have for the quotes local shortcode. And now I'm going to make a few changes, but basically we're going to fetch data from an external URL. We're going to fetch the JSON data, the quotes by calling this URL. So the way to do that is by using a special function provided by Hugo, that is the get JSON function. And basically we paste here the URL that we want to call. That's pretty much it. The only thing that I need to change here is this attribute because this 
Shapes and objects have the quote using the language of the quote. So I'm just going to rename that property. And that's pretty much it. And now I need to go back to our quotes page and I need to change the name of the shortcode. In this case, we're going to use quotes remote. I'm going to save this. And if we go to the website and if we refresh our quotes page, we can see here we have the 10 quotes by fetching the JSON data from an external API. Thank you for watching and I see you in the next one.